What's going on guys, Kaiga here. Back to Cyber Revolution. We have our two PvP game modes unlocked. Uh, it does look like there is PV another one coming eventually. Has not been announced, but just how the structure is, it looks like one more should be here. Now everyone should have this one right here, Digital Clash, unlocked on the first day. Whereas Underground Arena, the one to the right, unlocks on the third day. Now, checking out Digital Clash, I'm going to talk to you about the game modes and uh, teams and things like this. And then we're going to talk about the store, what to do with the uh, currency that you're getting. Now, as you see right here, uh, I have nine targets I can attack. And as I attack them with the currency at the top right, as you see, uh, you get them over time. You can have up to 30. Uh, it even shows you when you'll be full, which is 56 hours. You get one every two hours. But you can also get some in the store using the in-game currency. Uh, and then when you attack somebody, if their BR is in uh, white, like Dylar, fellow content creator, in the bottom right-hand corner, then it'll say challenge because uh, they're above a certain number. I'm sorry, I don't know the number. Percentage of my CP that uh, it would actually be a challenge. Now, all the other ones in green that you see, which is pretty much everyone else, if I click this, it'll say crushed because it'll skip the animation and just give me the points. Now, uh, going into Underground Arena, this is a very, very interesting one because if we look at uh, formation, uh, it's three teams. And I was thinking that this was going to be three teams of six and I was like well it makes sense eventually we're going to want more units uh, and then I'm thinking okay we can do like an electric team a defense break team and a burn team that, those are the first ones that come to mind that's not how it is uh, I actually think while this uh, it's equally as complex as that uh, I would like the third one to be the three teams of six. Obviously, wait a while till we have that unit. I only really have six starting to work on a seventh unit. But uh, first is one-on-one. -on -one. Nothing special. And remember, the amount of energy that your, your team has is based on the number of units you have. So on the one-on-one, -on -one, you will have a smaller energy pool than normal. Now this, remember those uh, five star passives and things I talked about in the last video, uh, you're gonna wanna keep this uh, in the back of your mind. For example, this guy I just showed you uh, in that last video uh, starts the battle with his formation intact and then gives him revenge whenever he's hit, giving him bonus damage to whoever hit him. So if we're trading a couple, so at the very beginning he puts down dragon formation, you attack me one or two times, and then I'm probably one-shotting you. Uh, battle 2 is 2 on 2, battle 3 is 3 on 3. Now, 2 on 2, I think the, probably the best formation is uh, <clears throat> a tank and a single target DPS. This is not how it should be. Um, I need to go through and change it up, but there, uh, I just threw what I had for now. Um, a good single target DPS would be ideal in the 2v2 in my opinion because tanks start the battle um, taking aggro not from everything just from basic attacks but a lot of the energy transition will be basic attacks especially with two units instead of three whereas three uh, you should probably also have a tank a support and a AOE DPS I actually think that's a very uh, easy swap right there uh, take her out, put her in, that's a single target DPS, come back here, uh, put her in, she's a multi-target DPS. Uh, she's also one of my favorite characters, she puts bubbles on enemies when she does her AoE, and then um, when they go to use a skill, it cancels the skill and gets rid of two bubbles, but also gets rid of the bubbles if I attack that unit. If I think like a freeze in Pokemon, other games like that. So you can focus on the other units. Uh, this allows uh, us to whittle down one unit, go on to the next one, and then deal with the guy who was bubbled. Uh, going on into... Now what's important is the digital clash when we look at rewards. Uh, this is a weekly reward. 
uh, that you get some boxes that will, um, you, I don't, th yeah, you get, uh, you get one at random, either a Tezzeret, 10 shards, or 20, uh, I'm calling them diamonds, but here they're called uh, comp cores, as well as some battle points. What I kind of don't like, but am okay with, is the defense rewards. Um, you can get up to 50 defense rewards per week. Um, both of these rewards are sent out at reset, which is 5 a.m. Monday. Now, what I don't like about this is someone who wants to try hard or push it can make a uh, alt account or two or three on the same server and attack their main, giving them a bunch of battle merits, which I don't like. But the idea is you're supposed to be pushing higher. So if your main is going for rank one and your alts are down here in the top 50 or whatever, this would only really work on day one, which this could be a um, very decent bonus on your first week, giving you all, all that extra uh, battle points. But I haven't seen anyone do that, obviously, yet. And then Underground Arena, their rewards are daily. What I do like is they put your current rewards up at the top. And then as we see right here, uh, we get stuff to up upgrade your skills. And then... Uh, the arena badges, which are this currency for the underground arena. Now, when we go to the store over here, what we have is, as you see, I got the Tezzerat, which is the uh, summon mechanic. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm getting the uh, a bunch of S rank Omni shards so I can bring up my S units to be at a usable level right now. And uh, ignoring the prototype skill codes, you get those from everywhere else. And eventually, once I get close, like once I'm at um, stage 11 or something, I'll start saving up for this Byako memory so I can craft one of her. And then up at the top, these three right here, uh, these two over here are for your star um, star ups on your implements, but only on your orange tier um, star implements. And this third one right here is for your commander skills which will be my next video because I just unlocked this uh, that once you're able to get this start going after these memory alloys they're going to be the most most important that you can get let me know what you guys think down below about PvP till next time guys